How many people have been pulled over and the cops said, hey, can I search your vehicle? How do you stop that? Here's how you invoke your rights for your car not to be searched. This is gonna blow you away. So I want you to say, officer, I revoke consent and they kind of stop searching your car. You, United States versus Williams, 2018. Tell them right now, I revoke consent, stop searching my car, say it out loud and they have to stop immediately. Say it now. I revoke, I revoke consent. consent. Stop, stop searching my car. Stop searching my car. That's it. Rubio. Rubio, that's it. Okay. He's revoked consent. He's revoked consent. What's that? I revoke consent. That's it. Okay, cool. I'm going to teach you guys something today that you did not know yesterday. How many people have been pulled over? And let me know in the comments. How many people have been pulled over and the cops said, hey, can I search your vehicle? How many people have ever heard that? The traditional way that we've learned when the cop says to search my car, what do you say? I do not agree to any searches or seizures. That's what you say. But is that counterproductive to you invoking your rights the best? I mean, think about it. If you tell the copper, no, you can't search my car, the 1925 case of Carroll versus the United States allows them to warrantlessly search your car if they believe there's exigent circumstances. So there are three parts of exigent circumstances that you need to understand. The first one is if the cops say that they're in hot pursuit of you, then they can search your car without a warrant and say, well, we were in pursuit, he didn't pull over. The second way is they can say they're looking for illegal alcohol because the 1925 case of Carroll versus United States is based on prohibition laws, that it's illegal for you to have illegal alcohol. The third way they can search your car without a warrant is that they say, you know what? I think there was gonna be a loss of life. Because I believe there's gonna be a loss of life, I'm gonna search your car without a warrant. How do you stop that? This is gonna blow you away. This is gonna blow you away. You wouldn't think that this is the way that you invoke your rights and take the power back from the pig at my window. Can I search your car, Mr. DeCastro? Can I search your car? And what do we tell him? No, no, you can't. I invoke my Fourth Amendment right. No illegal searches and seizures. But does that work? No, no, it doesn't. You don't truly invoke your rights by telling the cop, no, I don't agree to searches and seizures. Here's how you invoke your rights for your car not to be searched. When that filthy piggy walks up to me and says, Mr. DeCastro, can I search your car? You know what I say? Sure, no problem. And then the cop goes, okay, can you step out of the car so I can search it? I go, sure, no problem. And then I go to get out of the car. I got my trifold that I printed out. I got my car, I got my trifold that I printed out. And the copper asked me, can I search your car? And I say, yes. And then I get out of the car. I take my trifold, I'm getting my phone. I'm taking my time, I'm grabbing my lemonade. But he's gonna try to stop me from drinking anything. I get out, he goes to start searching my car. And I say, actually officer, you know what? I revoke consent. I revoke consent. The United States versus Williams in 2018 clearly states that if I can give consent, that I can revoke consent. And here's the case law right here. I got this from Delete Laws. I gave you permission to search my car. In retrospect, over the last 15 seconds, I've decided that I've changed my mind. So if I can give you consent, then I can take away consent. That's how you get around them searching your car. Now, once you've give consent and then you take away consent and then you show them the Supreme Court case law that allows you to revoke consent, then if you show it to them and everything's on camera here, I'm revoking consent, you can sue them for violating your rights. If you can give consent, you can revoke consent. But what you can't do is if you say, no, you can't search my car. I don't agree to any illegal searches and seizures. The cop can say, well, I believe there's exigent circumstances, so I'm going to search your car anyway. But you gave him permission in the other scenario, you gave him permission and then you took away permission. That makes you strong. That makes you a rights fighter. You are fighting for your rights because you know them so well. I know that Carroll versus United States says that coppers can search my car if they believe there's exigent circumstances. But United States versus Williams is almost like an antidote, like a counter to the 1925 case of Carroll versus United States. The Supreme Court gets it right every once in a while. The sun shines on a dog's ass every once in a while. The Supreme Court is a dog's ass. It's a bunch of dog poo over there on the Supreme Court. An unelected body of super elitists who are appointed for life. 
what could possibly go wrong? Oh, I don't know, segregation, Plessy versus Ferguson, the Fugitive Slave Act. I don't know, keep going, the Cruikshank versus United States. I mean, how many times can they get it wrong? So I'm sitting here telling you how to get around the copper search in your car by giving them permission and then revoking permission using the 2018 case of William versus United States. If you take that methodology and you don't have the proof in writing for the pig, he's gonna search your car anyway. If you're not video recording the pig trying to search your car, he's gonna search your car anyway. You have to give your rights and then take them back. I'm taking back my power, pig. I gave you permission to search a moment ago. I have retained my rights back. I'm no longer interested in you rifling through my car. Well, why are you revoking consent? I don't have to answer any questions. <laughs> anybody ever taught you this before? Has anybody ever taught you this before? Have you ever learned to allow the cop to search your car pull out your trifold and then go, I revoke consent. Have you ever heard that before? This is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is the way you do it. Now this is six bucks. If you buy one of these off my website for $6, it goes into your spam folder 99% of the time. For the love of God, when you buy one of these digital trifolds, check your spam folder. I don't know why it does it. I can't stop it. I'm not God. I'm just a man doing the best I can with what I got. And every single social media platform from YouTube to TikTok to Instagram has me shadow banned. You can't even imagine it. You can't even imagine it. You can't imagine what it's like to be a freedom fighter and, and just to be shut out when I haven't broken any laws. I haven't hurt anybody. There's no victims. So it's that they don't want you to get this. They don't want you to get it. They don't want you to have this in your car. And by the way, you know why we did this? learn the law because the cops don't know the law. That's why it says learn the law on the front. Because when you pull this out and you invoke your fifth amendment right, which is on the back side of learn the law, where your ID should go, where your proof of insurance, where your registration should go, you then say, oh, hold on, Mr. Copper, you wanna search my car? Okay, let me take a look at my learn the law pamphlet. Sure, you can search my car, Copper, no problem. Let me get out of the car, let me help you out. Let me, let me, let me, help, you, let me help you search the car. And then as I'm getting out, ah, you know what? You know what? In this pamphlet here, it says that I can revoke consent. It says right here, United States versus Williams, that I can revoke consent. So I'm going to revoke consent and take my rights back. Thanks for coming, no piggy. Get out! Get out of my get out! Get out! Get out of my car, you dirty, filthy pigger! You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> It's just unbelievable. So just so you know, the reason it says learn the law, know your rights is so you can show the copper because he doesn't know the law either. When you give consent to search your car and then you revoke consent, you better have it ready. You can tell him, I memorized it. United States versus William allows me to revoke consent. And the copper goes, I never heard of that. And he searches your car anyway. Whereas if you say I give consent and revoke consent and you show him the 2018 case of United States versus Williams, have you guys seen me do this? I've done this a couple of times, Johnny on the spot when they were targeting people. So I want you to say, officer, I revoke consent and they kind of stop searching your car. You, United States versus Williams, 2018. Tell them right now, I revoke consent, stop searching my car, say it out loud and they have to stop immediately. Say it now. I revoke consent. Consent. Stop searching my car. That's it. Rubio, that's it. He's revoked consent. He's revoked consent. I revoke the set of the That's it. Okay, cool. What did that? The power of knowledge in my hand and the camera. That's what did it. That's what did it. Don't get caught flat footed. You're going to get pulled over and you're going to be like, damn, I wish I had that trifold. And you didn't have it. And now he wants to search your car. And you didn't get your phone out when you saw the pig pass you. Oh, I think that pig's going to pull us over. I don't care if he's going to pull me over. I saw a pig. I saw a pig. My phone comes out. I start recording now. Now, some of you are like, oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that they're going to do something bad to me because I'm filming them. Pull the phone out. Cop comes up. I'm filming you. First Amendment right. It's being recorded. It's on video. I told you it's my First Amendment right. Cop says, you can't film me. You go, oh, yeah? 
in the trifold here that I got from Delete Laws for $6, it says right here, I can film cops. It says it right there, plain as day. Oh, the cop smells marijuana. That's a big one. Cop smells marijuana. That's not probable cause to search your car. But you may not know that. You may not know it. If you do not participate in the flexing of your rights, then you don't have any rights, bud. Your children and your grandchildren will live in an oppressive state, a police state, prison state, death state. You have got to participate in your rights. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop until we change this bullshit system. Go to my website, DeleteLaws.com. Here's your six bucks. Send me my digital trifold. I'll print it out and I'll keep it in my car. Either one's okay. Or get the printed one that I send to you. I don't care. I don't care. This is my business. This is how I make money. This is how I earn a living. And I'm telling you, I'll give you my number one product for free. Dude, what more can I do for you? Email me uh, on my website. Go to deletelaws.com with a Z. Go to the inquiry form and be like, dude, I don't got six bucks. Or you know what? Here, I got six bucks. I don't care. Get the trifold in your car.